Okay, this is the science bowl. The winner, the two winners. I have six bubble teas here. Two teams will get six bubble teas. And the reason why I have a calculator is because the first round is called, if you can do math, basically 25 times 100 minus the percentage of people who get this question correct. So the more people who get it correct, the less valuable each, each question is. The Scholars Cup does ask this every single time. So we're gonna do one here, okay? In these sessions, we go very in depth with strategy and content. When I say studying, I don't mean just like passively reading the notes, right? So the answer is B. Okay, the first question. No, we don't have a pencil. Okay, if you snooze, you lose. Question number one. We need to observe this question. It was the Battle of Antarctica. The penguins. Very epic battle. Okay, the question asks. Someone attempting to live in Antarctica 100 years in the future would have most trouble. Is it A, convincing people to come? B, surviving the cold weather? C, trying to grow crops? B, finding fresh drinking water? Or E, building a house on stable land? You have 15 seconds, everyone. Five seconds. And time. Okay, so the answer is C to try to grow crops. So if we, if we do the math, a few moments later. This question is worth 1,500 points. So if you got it correct, write that down. The next question is worth, I don't know how many points. Someone looking to trap CO2 from the atmosphere would have most, the most success looking into. Is it A, bioprecipitation, B, hail cannons, C, radi radiative forcing, D, enhanced weathering, or E, marine cloud brightening? You have 15 seconds. Five seconds, everyone. And time's up. So the answer to this is enhanced weatherings, which is D. So only 40% of people got that correct. So again, this question is worth 1,500 points. Question three, everyone. The Artemis Project can be summed up by, is it A, CO2 capture? Meh. Is it B, when you make almost as much oxygen as trees, but no one shows you love? Sad algae noises. Is it C, I'm gonna be the first man to travel the light of speed? What? <laughs> is it D, because ruining another planet is better than keeping this one tidy? Or is it E, epic capture the flag? You have 15 seconds, everyone. The Artemis Project. Five seconds, everyone. And time, your time is up. Okay, so the answer is E, epic capture the flag. This question is worth 1,000 points. Next question, question number four. The question is, finally get a day off to relax and tan. You realize you're living underwater and there's no sun. What am I doing with my life? So the question asks, what is one of the main problems with attempting to live underwater? Is it A, a underwater habitat could implode? B, the lack of accessibility of producing energy. C, salt water could corrode glass. D, all of humanity would not fit underwater. Or E, the little available drinking water. You have 15 seconds, everyone. Five 
Five seconds, everyone. And time. This question is worth 1,750 points, which means that the answer is in fact B, the lack of accessibility to producing energy. Question five asks, someone looking to create more snow during a snowstorm should look into. Is it A, glaciogenic seeding, B, fog harp, C, hail cannons, D, a cloud buster, or E, hydroscopic seeding? You have 15 seconds. Five seconds. And time. This question is worth, again, 1,750 points. And the answer is A for glaciogenic seeding. These next questions are worth a mystery amount of points. You do not know how many points they're worth. Question one. I mean, question one, question mark. Question, question mark. Please observe. Everyone, gonna tell my kids global warming. No, I don't think you will. The question asks, someone wanting to terraform Mars and save humans from global warming would have most success. Is it A, sending 100,000 robots to Mars? B, injecting aerosols into the atmosphere? C, creating an artificial magnetosphere? Um, D, capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere? Or E, creating a high albedo surface? Wait, is it aerosols or You have 15 seconds. Five seconds, everyone. Time. Okay, so the answer to the first question mark question is C for creating an artificial magnetosphere. So how many points is this worth? Let's see. So the incorrect amount of points. You got 50 points if you got it incorrect. If you get it correct, you get 1,000 points. Next question, question, double question mark. Scientists in 2020 looking to take close-up pictures of planets 20 light years away. We'll get the fastest results if they, A, send solar sails, B, performing human stasis, C, traveling through a wormhole, D, creating extremophiles, or E, investing in generation ships. You guys have 15 seconds. Five seconds, everyone. And your time is now up. Scientists looking to take pictures of planets 20 light years away would get the fastest results if they send solar sails to these planets. So if you got this question incorrect, you lose 300 points. If you got this question correct, you get points. Question, triple question marks. We need to observe this. So you've observed Dwight eating his survival food. So the question is, if Dwight was to hide in a shelter shortly after the Mount Pinatubo eruption, he would most likely, is it A, experience an earthquake, B, notice higher atmospheric pressure, C, experience acid rain, D, notice faster winds, or E, feel a little bit colder than before. You guys have 15 seconds. Five seconds. Oh my 
And time is up. So shortly after this explosion, Dwight would feel a little bit colder than before, which is why it's E is the correct answer. If you got this question incorrect, you get 200 points. If you get this question correct, you lose 50 points. Four question marks. Engineers looking to upgrade the Alfschulsteig would have the most success looking into. Is it A, water plumbing tech, B, human stasis, C, cloud seeding technologies, D, warp drive engines, or E, level blocks? You guys have 15 seconds. This is, in fact, a dam. So the most... So the answer would indeed be E for level blocks. Incorrect is worth zero, zero points. And if you get this correct, you get 800 points. Next question, worth five question marks. Which of the following would best be an albedo surface? Would it be A, white snow? B, a hot desert. C, a nice forest. D, waves beside a coast. Or E, a rocky, deserted land. You have 15 seconds. And time. So the correct answer is in fact A for the snow. The albedo surface. So if you got this question incorrect, you'd get 150 points. If you get this question correct, you'll get a thousand and a hundred points. Triple bet! So, everyone, listen. There will be three questions. You can bet anywhere from zero to 7,500 points. If you get all, no, right now, if you get all three correct, you will get that amount. If you get all three wrong, you will lose this amount. One wrong, so you got two right, you will get half of this. If you get two wrong, so only one right, you'll lose half of that, okay? You can write it down, I've written down in your sheet if you want more. So bet, bet the amount right now. So has everyone put down a number? Okay, question one. Please observe. Not sure if air pollution or Photoshop. Question is, China's political blue sky leads to polluted conditions the day after because. Is it A, citizens drive their cars more after? B, the government needs to make up for the economic loss? C, the large number of planes from politicians leaving? D, cloud seeding is used? Or E, the quantity of aerosols injected into the atmosphere? You guys have 15 seconds. Five seconds. is in fact B for the economic loss. B, B. Next question, question number two. We need to watch this vi video. Hopefully you, you've observed. Question is, someone looking to add extra batteries to the Kepler Space Telescope, which I don't think there are, would do so too. Is it A, observe the moon for water? B, scout Mars for landing areas? C, observe potentially habitable solar systems? D, shoot space aerosols or E, find exoplanets? You guys have 15 seconds.
Five seconds. And time. So, the Kepler Space Telescope was put in space so that it can find exoplanets. So the correct answer is E. Next question, question three, which is the last question of the bet. So, this is it, guys. The design from Team Zophorus, Zophorus consists of, is it A, collecting Martian rock and 3D printing it, B, shooting aerosols into the atmosphere, C, creating a massive space mirror, D, adding a sun shield to Venus, or E, capturing all Arctic methane release. You guys have 15 seconds. Five seconds, everyone. Someone designing, a designer from Team Zophorus would be creating, it would be A, where they create 3D houses. So calculate your points. Next week we're doing, after the break, we're doing special area.